Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have discussed about the super key and the foreign key. And till now, we have discussed about the four keys that is super key, foreign key, candidate key and the primary key. Now we are going to learn about alternate keys. You have remembered what are the candidate keys? Candidate keys are the set of attributes, one or more, that can uniquely identify the records of the table. If we take one attribute that is appropriate according to the table, we will choose that as the primary key. Now the rest of the keys in the candidate keys will be called as the alternate key. So alternate key is the total number of candidate keys minus the primary key. For example, let's understand this. If we have ID, Aadhaar card number, and PAN number, these three as a candidate key, and the database administrator take this as a primary key. Key. So the remaining two will be the alternate keys. These two will be called as the alternate keys and all the three will be called as the candidate keys. So you can say that we have three candidate keys. We have taken one as a primary key. Now the remaining two, three minus one equals to two. So two will be the alternate keys. Now it may happen the table have the alternate key or not. Because if the table have only one candidate key, then that will be also the primary key and it does not have any alternate keys. So that is the alternate key. Next one is composite key. So composite key is a key that has more than one attribute. Means if we create a key from combining two or more than two attributes, then that will be called as a composite key. Any key such as super key, primary key or a candidate key, that like it can be called as a composite key if it has more than one attributes. So if you see here id and the name id address id aadhaar card number and the pan number so combinedly these three can be called as a composite key it can be called as a composite key okay so sometimes it will be good if we create a primary key not based on a single attribute but combining two or more attributes that can uniquely identify the record of the table. And if we combine two or more records then sorry two or more attributes then the key will be called as a composite key. So simple definition is if we combine two or more attributes in a key then that key will be called as a composite key. Seventh is the compound key. Now compound key is similar to the composite key. It is also the count collect it is also the combination of two or more attributes that will uniquely identify a row in a table. For example, if a single attribute is not helpful in uniquely identifying any row, then we can combine two attributes and that will uniquely identify the record. Then the compound of the two record will be called as the compound of the two attribute will be called as the compound key or composite key. There is only one difference between the composite key and the compound key. The difference is compound, like the, the difference between the compound and the composite key is any part of the compound key can be a foreign key. But the composite key may or may be not a part of the foreign key. So the difference is compound key attribute can be a foreign key but the composite key may or may not. So if any attribute 
is in the compound key then that can be a foreign key for the compound keys but if a key is a composite key then the attribute that is taking part in the combination of the attributes in the composite key that may or may not be a foreign key so that is the simple difference between the composite key and the compound key but these two are used often same means everyone say a composite key is a compound key there is a like there is a simple difference of the foreign key in between these two and the last one is the surrogate key surrogate key or we can say that an artificial key which aims to uniquely identify each record in the table and this is the key that is created by you when your table does not have any natural primary key for example if a table has the like has already some attributes in it but those attributes is not taking part in uniquely identifying any row or if we combine two or more recall like two or more attributes for the composite key to uniquely identify records that will become large or complex so we include the artificial key or the surrogate key that will be created by us to uniquely identify the records so it is something that is not present in the original table and it is created by us just to uniquely identify the records and they do not lend any meaning to the data in the table their main aim is just to identify unique records so it's an artificial key created by the database administrator or anyone who is designing the table to uniquely identify record these keys are created when the table does not have any primary key or the primary key is large or complex so in these three cases we create a new attribute that will be called as a surrogate key or artificial key that will identify each record uniquely it can be any integer or any number or anything that can be useful to identify the records easily so these are the eight keys that we have discussed in the module so that's all for this video from the next video we will start the third module thank you